Hello, welcome back. Today, I'm going to introduce another traditional Chinese festival. It's named as Tomb Sweeping Day. In Chinese, we call it Qingming Jie. Here, Qing means clear, Ming means bright. Jie we learned is festival. Together means a clear and bright day of the season means it's the almost the starting of spring everything turns green that's why i'm using green color for this video and in this time we memorize our ancestor family our friend our heroes who sacrificed for the country people who passed away qing ming jie For 2021, Qingmingjie is on April 4th, sometimes it's on April 5th. It's depending on the international calendar, it's different from the other festivals. Qingmingjie is one of the four big festivals for Chinese, and it's also a national holiday. In Chinese, we say April 4th, 四月四日. If you go vocabulary, you will learn the number four is si. Yue means month. So the fourth month of the year is April. Here, yu means day. Si, the fourth day. So the fourth day of the fourth month of the year is April 4th. This is the Qingming Jie of this year. The first thing people must do is go to sweep the tomb of the people you want to memorize. We say in Chinese, Sao Mu. Sao means sweep. For example, if you want to clean the floor or sweep the floor, you use the same verb. Sweep tomb. Mu means tomb. So the number one thing you must do is tomb sweeping. And usually people do second thing is ta qing means go out in the springtime. Here ta means stamp. Use your feet to stamp on the grass. Qing is a color. It's in between of blue and green. Usually we use this character to mention the color of grass or the newly uh, sprout leaves. Qing, ta qing. The first thing you must do is sao mu. Then ta qing. You go out to grassland, to wood, to a good place for the picnic, for entertainment. The other activities you can do is to plant trees. Here is again a verb, plant. Zhi, shu, plant trees. Shu, zhi, shu. Another thing you could do is flying kites. Fang, feng, zheng. Fang again is a verb, fly, or put. Feng zheng is kite. Zhi shu, fang, feng zheng. As a tradition, people usually bring food to the tomb for your ancestor, friend, or heroes you want to memorize. And this food, after praying, after you sweep the tomb, you bring it back and you can eat it. This is the tradition in northern China. For example, this is a pie made of uh, corn flowers. It's cold. Or you can specially make some food for yourself in advance before this day. It means in this day, people don't cook. They eat cold food. Here, chi means eat. 
long means cold, shi means food. So, chi long shi eat cold food. In southern China, people eat something else. It's called qing tuan. Again, you see this is the color of grass. Tuan means a ball. If you remember in the Lantern Festival, we eat yuan xiao, or we call it tang yuan in southern China. It's made of rice flour. Here is the same. The difference is that we put the color of the grass. You can get the juice from the grass, a special grass, or make powder out of that grass to mix with that sticky rice flour. Make this qing tuan. Again, you have some sweet thing inside. Different with the tang yuan is that qing tuan is usually steamed, not boiled in water. This is the traditional food in southern China. Qing tuan, you see again the color is green, means everything comes up. All right, we learned Qingming Jie. We do some special activity like Sao Mu, Ta Qing, Zhi Shu, Fang Feng Zheng. And we learned people usually eat cold food, Chi Leng Shi. Our Qing Tuan, that green color rice ball. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. 再见。